you own an M50 and you want to record yourself. What are some of the options available? Well, option number one is you use the flip screen and hit the record button. The problem with that option is you will have to start the recording. You're going to have to make sure the camera is close enough so you can actually um, you know keep yourself in frame looking at that tiny screen and if you have drifted or lost focus which Canon is pretty good at maintaining focus uh, that can be difficult but again you would need a pretty wide angle lens to do that the other option is the Wi-Fi the Wi-Fi option is not a viable option in my opinion uh, I have tried it with Canon M50 I am currently using Lumix G7 uh, with the 50 millimeter equivalent lens prime lens I don't use kit lenses kit lenses are well they're kit lenses they're junk um, so what are some of the options with Wi-Fi or so why is Wi-Fi a bad option Wi-Fi when you have an external mic plugged in like this or have a a boom mic sitting on top of the camera uh, you will get a lot of noise because obviously you have just activated the Wi-Fi system of your camera which generates obviously being 2.4 gigahertz microwaves it interferes with the audio signal and I tried two microphones and it was interfering with bo both of them lavalier mic and uh, the boom mic or uh, unidirectional mic so then what are the options the best option I have discovered to record yourself especially if you have a laptop or a computer is using your computer you can is install the Canon app and then uh, plug in uh, a USB cable from your um, from your camera to your um, computer and the app automatically detects it and then you can um, start recording and I will demonstrate all of that stuff okay so here are the steps to set up your um, EOS utility so you can do remote shooting US using the USB cable with your Canon M50 camera and uh, this util utility EOS utility 3 is what you want uh, this not not only works with your uh, USB it also works for Wi-Fi although Wi-Fi I would not recommend because in my testing with both microphones I have gotten noise and quite it's and it's not the nice kind of hissing noise white noise floor noise it it's an actual interference noise and it's very annoying um, so and I'll link I will also provide link to the uh, the, the kind of cable you need to hook up and I'm going to do another video on an external battery noise free external battery uh, battery pack and uh, the dummy battery that you need to get with the uh, the whole setup uh, so let's get started so step one you go to the Canon website and download their EOS Utility 3 you can google it or I'll provide link in the description so you download this that's step one it will download and it will download into your download folder directory and it's downloading right now as you can see and once it's completed so I've downloaded once before so this is our latest cop copy let's extract this so extract all 
and then we run the setup. So start the setup, use your re region, in my case it's the United States, so US, English, continue it, and it in installs all of this stuff. And it's going to go through really fast because I already have it installed. But I just wanted to show you guys what, what to expect, what will happen once you install it, what those steps are. So this is what um, the installation would look like. And uh, this is what the utility looks like when it's installed. As you can see, you'll see a little camera right here. And this is what happens when you connect your camera to the to to your computer so currently the USB cable is plugged into my computer now I'm just plugging in the camera so let me turn on the camera and let's plug in the USB cable I plugged in and the utility automatically launched notice how it's all automatic which I love absolutely love the 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 automatic nature of that you can select your profile and all of that stuff so keep in mind if you're in the video mode you cannot switch the video mode from the utility you're going to have to do it from the camera so if I switch from the camera the mode switched so I'm changing the mode from the camera and if you notice uh, the mode is switching so now I'm in movie mode as indicated right here I can adjust my temperature and all of that stuff so current light is set at 54 Kelvin and let's take I'll we can do live shooting so let's look at my keyboard there so if you notice you can see the I can focus and you're seeing the uh, what's coming through live and let's put the camera down and as you can see this makes it very convenient and you can start recording from here you can stop recording and it just makes your life so much easier but that's not all once you're done recording, so for example, I record it and you still want to preview and see how well your video footage looks, you stop it, you close it, and you can download it in real time. I have set up to go in my download folder and I can view the footage immediately. Creates a folder with the date. So I record it and there's there's and you the recording. still want to preview and see how well your video footage so as you can see this is very helpful because often time you're not sure if you want to keep that take and take another take you will have to go back to the camera transfer the file onto your either VSD or or some other method or a USB transfer this way everything is immediate you can immediately copy the video from your camera onto your computer and you know continue producing the content so I think this is the best workflow for Canon M50 if you have any questions please don't forget to comment in the comment section uh, and uh, if you like this video please subscribe I will be creating more videos regarding different camera equipment and um, and uh, hopefully you enjoy what uh, is coming next. Take care, guys. Bye.